praise the Lord everyone it's Dr. Leisha the preacher I'm just doing a quick poolside uh, reading okay and I think I want this to be I know it's Leo season and I want to do a Leo video I will do a Leo video this this month but um, I want to do a quick um, I think twin flame reading okay especially for twin flames that um, that are struggling, separated, you know, kind of thing. So I'm just going to start off with my basic tarot reading. Oh, this card jumped out. I didn't even get to shuffle good, but this one jumped out. And it's the uh, Three of Wands. I'll just let that sit there for a minute. The Three of Wands. I'll just let that sit there for a minute. But, you know, I also want to, um, the Three of Wands, really? Three of Wands, let me look that up real quick. Yeah, I know you can't see my face, you're looking at the card, but, hi, I'm right here. <laughs> but, let me see, um, Three of Wands, interesting that that popped up before I could even shuffle good, it just wanted to come out. So, I'm like, okay, fine, have your way. Three of Wands, a calm, stately figure, okay, with his back turned, looking from a cliff's edge at ships passing over the sea. Three staves are planted in the ground and he leans slightly on one of them. He symbolizes established strength enterprise, effort, trade, discovery, commerce. Those are his ships bearing his merchandise, which are sailing over the sea. Interesting. And if this was in the reverse, it would mean the end of troubles, suspension or cessation of adversity, adversity, disappointment, and toil. So either your ships are coming in with your merchandise, meaning, you know, business is good. Uh, business is good. This is a window of opportunity to even have communication with your twin. Even if it lasts a day or an hour <laughs> of communication before it goes south. <laughs> you know how sometimes it's so hard to communicate, you know, and you block each other and you do all this stuff. But sometimes God opens up a window of time to get specific details discussed and ironed out. So either your ships have come in, uh, potty, potty. Okay, it's not answering. So, uh, what, excuse me, did I, thank you, you took that way too far. I, I don't need any help. I'm 51 years old, I didn't raise a bunch of kids, and I don't need no help from kids on how to raise kids. <laughs> I'm just saying. But anyway, so, um, so this card is a good card, no matter how you look at it. Either your money gonna be right, or troubles are just going to get out your way. So twins, whether you're together or separated, you're going to have a season of prosperity, a season of peace, you know. And if at all possible, if it's possible to communicate, you know, whether it's a window of an hour, 30 minutes, a week, you know what I mean, a whole day or whatever, you know, take advantage of positive communication and cut it off when it, you know, I mean, at the sign of it, you know, being negative, just cut it off. Don't let it go all the way. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> so take advantage of small windows to communicate. Um, so that's the card that popped out was the three of one. And we're going to just stick with that. 
I didn't get to shuffle much, you know, and this is a quick reading. And I'm just going to do a quick angel message. Do an angel message with that. And then I'll do a romantic tarot. And I think that'll do it. And I might end it with a pagan card. Yeah, my oracle. Oracle card. Yeah, where I'm at the pool with the kids. Corey, do you want to get back in the water now? Now, listen to me, sweetie Pooh. I need you to stay in the water. You understand? Okay, go ahead. Get some water time. He kept getting out and running, and I'm like, oh. I don't have time for no hospital visits. We're in Jacksonville, Florida at a hotel in Jacksonville, Florida. You got to do what? Okay, can you take her to the bathroom over there? Yeah, take your sister to the bathroom right there. Let her go over there. Okay, so we got the celebration card, guys. Celebration. <laughs> I was right on the money. It's time to celebrate, twins. Whether you're together or separated. In the spirit now. In the spirit. You know what I'm saying? You might not be together physically in the flesh, but in the spirit. You know, some of y'all know how to connect in the spirit, too. You know what I mean? You're that close, you know. For whatever reason, in your fleshly life, maybe things don't go right. But in your spiritual life, you're like on high. You know, you're gonna... Where that card go? Oh. Yeah, the Three of Wands card. You're got, you know, your ships are coming in, your money gonna get right, or you just gonna, you know, if, if you're not really a person to have wealth, but you're just gonna have a peaceful season, you know? You're gonna have a peaceful. Patty, did you need to go to the bathroom too? Okay, all right. So, you know, either your money is gonna get real nice, or you're just gonna be at peace, you know? But it's time to celebrate. So this is a really good twin flame. And I haven't done a twin flame message in a while. But I felt led to do it. And it says, um, your spirit needs to play and have fun. Lighten up. Lighten up, twins. You know, whatever your dynamic is. Meaning you're together in the flesh. Or you're only together in the spirit. If one of you is alive and the other one has passed on naturally. You know what I'm saying? But yet you still spiritually attached. There's so many ways that twins are together or connect. So now I'm going to do a romantic reading. Jesus. Oh, wow. I was just led. Just led to do a quick twin flame reading. Um, you know... Sometimes I'll do a separation reading, but this is not limited to separation. This one is more like, um, what is going on with this? Mm -hmm. I'm trying to put this back in here and it's not acting right. Okay, so, so now I'm gonna do uh, um, the romantic. I'm gonna shuffle these cards right here. My hands are kind of a little sticky too. Yeah. I'm watching you, Potty. I'm not going to let you nothing happen to you. <laughs> Kids are so funny. <laughs> ooh, ooh, ooh. A car came out. A car came out. Oh. Okay. The king. The king of pentacles. The king of pentacles is coming out. The king of pentacles. And just based on what I see, whenever you got a king, you know this is masculine dominant masculine energy and pentacles implies that his money gonna be right just like here your money the king of pentacles three of wands the money is gonna be right the money is gonna be good it's gonna be a time of peace and the king his money is right uh, you know we see freedom like financial freedom financial freedom and then the woman he's ready he's ready for 
his money right so now he feel like he can you know play around because <laughs> this says here the angel message it says celebrate it's time to celebrate he ready to you know get some okay he wants some sex he got his money right it's a peaceful time the, the ships are coming in and and he wants you know it says your spirit needs to play and and have fun he's ready to have a little fun and stuff <laughs> this is a beautiful reading it's right on time oh my god oh my god um let me see what the oracle says let's, let's see what the oracle i'm gonna do an oracle too why not <laughs> we're at 10 minutes okay we're at 10 minutes let's do the oracle oh gosh uh why are you over there please stay in the water Please stay in the water. I can't have you guys walking around, you know, causing a potential slip hazards issue. Yeah, so, oh my God. Twin flames, who, twin flames who are physically together on this earth and you together, ooh, y'all about to have some good times. <laughs> The money gonna be right. Y'all not gonna be arguing and cutting up. None of that's gonna be peaceable. Mm, 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 mm. My Lord Jesus, those of y'all that's in the physical together, especially y'all that's been married for a long time, and you know, and it's been some struggles. You know, ain't nothing like struggling together, and then when things go right. Together. Uh oh. Oh, here's the card. Uh, we have the um, this card here. This is a good card. I forget the name of it. It looked like a maze to me, but um, but it's card number twenty, and then it's um, two, four, six, eight. The eight of spades. That a spades is always good, especially with Trump being in office. You know, the spades, trumps. You know, for those who play spades, the game, the point card game. But the eight says that, oh, long-term commitment. <laughs> those of y'all who's been together. Remember, I was just saying that. Those of y'all been together for a long time, that you've been in a long-term commitment. Okay. It's gonna be so good. Y'all gonna feel like. You know the beginning. It's, you're gonna feel happy. You're gonna feel happiness like you did in the beginning, or you're gonna feel happiness, a, a fresh new happiness. Did someone walk away? Get over here and sit down. Come sit down. Now don't cry because I'm on video. Okay, no crying because I'm on videotape. And, um,. So, yeah. Okay, so let me look up card number uh, 20 real quick. Oh my God, I'm so excited. But y'all that have been together for a while, I just let, I just do like that. If you've been together for a minute, um, I just do like that, whatever. <laughs> you know, those of y'all been together for a minute, you're going to feel so young and you're going to feel happy and and y'all gonna be, you know, having sex. You know, I'm potty right here, so I gotta see it whisper. Y'all gonna be having sex. And if you don't, you know, if you got issues where that's not possible, you're gonna be taking showers together and, you know, just touching on each other, making each other feel good. You know, there's other ways besides that to feel good. Come on now, y'all, come on. <laughs> come on now, there's, I know how to have some fun without going all the way. I'm just saying. <laughs> but the garden card, garden, like in the Garden of Eden, you know how things were in the beginning? So this card means like, it's gonna be like it was in the beginning. You know? I know at the beginning of any relationship, I've always been happy. I've always been happy at the beginning of a relationship. It always felt so good. Okay, so you're going to stay in the water this time? Please stay in the water. Don't go run off. Okay? 
All right, that's the second time now. So, you know, when you in the beginning, like, like, like this year, God has anointed me where I feel like I'm 14 again. I'm 51, I turned 51 a few days ago, two days ago. Happy birthday, Kaden. Today is uh, my grandson, my older grandson, he's 11. His name's Kaden. <laughs> so Kaden's birthday is today, and Maz was two days ago. And earlier this year, God just anointed me with this energy, this youthful energy, like I'm 14. <laughs> I feel, and I have a picture of me in a prom dress at 14. I had went to my first prom when I was um, in high school, and I was 14. Went to a prom, and I put up that picture, and I'm like, I feel like her. I feel like the world is mine. Like, I have no limitations. Like, I can have whatever I want. It's like I'm back to being 14. At the beginning of when I first felt free, free, free. Free to be me, free to create. I stay in the water. That's not in the water. And so, I, I feel alive. I mean, I live in Florida, in the projects, but that's just temporary. <laughs> I mean, I have a, I'm 51, and I've been somebody's wife for 30 years, so I mean, I, it ain't like I'm, I don't have anything. It's just all in Michigan. My life is in Michigan. My whole family, all my generational, um, experiences and everything is all in Michigan but I had to leave it all and I moved to Florida starting all over from scratch in the project you don't get lower than the projects unless you're homeless basically so I'm gonna go from project living to my ships are going to come in <laughs> my ships are coming in and even if I don't have no money coming in, no ships coming in, I'm just going to be at peace. I'm just going to be happy. And the angels are telling me to celebrate because my spirit needs to play. This is a confirmation video to myself. My spirit needs to play. So go play. Don't feel bad about being happy and feeling young and wanting to be alive and not I don't want to die anymore I don't want to die anymore I don't I want to live and and you know there's a dominant male energy you know that's in my life according to this card <laughs> you know I don't know if that's true or not but I'm just saying <laughs> but there's you know this card is saying that the male energy, like, honey, this go, go. Y'all not stay in the water. Party, you need to stay on this side because if you fall in that water, that's that's too deep for you. You need to come over here, boo boo, because I'm not getting in that water <laughs> to save nobody today. And so this is the time for. Um, I'm just gonna speak for me. Um, male energy to dominate, and they gonna have money, and I'm gonna be all like coy. Look how this girl all coy. You know, that's going to be me like when I'm 14. I'm going to be like I'm 14. <laughs> I need to be like I'm 14. I need to go back to the garden. And the last time I remember having my garden feel, um, oh, wait a minute, let me see. The garden, eight of spades, yeah, yeah, yeah. And it says public, open, and social. So it's okay for me to just put myself on display and just be me. I don't have to hide anymore. I don't have to hide me. Be 14 again and, 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 and be proud of it. Put myself on public display. Public display, high on the hill, watching my ships with my staffs firmly planted on this earth, pentacles, money, 
I'm not going to be broke no more. I mean, not that I've lived a broke life. I'm not saying that. But I'm going through a broke season. You know, I'm broken away from all the strongholds. You know what I mean? I'm free of the, 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 the bondage. I'm free of... It's like I'm 14. <laughs> Just before shit got all serious, you know what I'm saying? Just before shit got all serious in my life. I'm back. I'm, I'm back to my garden. And 14 was my garden. I'm back to my garden. And I, you know, based on this reading, I'm ready. I'm ready for that dominant male energy to... Let that money flow and spoil me. Let me read up on that card. Do I have that book? Where is that book? Ooh. Okay, that's that one. I don't see my book for my um, love card, but... Woo, Jesus. I love this reading. It's very... Um, wow. <laughs> so... I'm 14, I'm wide open, ready for love. The perfect man is right there waiting for me with all that he has open as my playground. Time to celebrate. Celebrate. Be 14. Be young. Take chances. Do what I gotta do to be happy, to be free, to be wealthy. Young. 51. And it's like I'm 14. <laughs> That's crazy. That's crazy. But I love it. I love it. I'm alive. I'm well. I am not mentally ill anymore in Jesus' name. I've stopped taking my meds back during my fasting and praying. I prayed and fast for about three or four months. Lost 20 pounds. I mean, I don't really have 20 pounds to lose, really, you know. But, but you know, I noticed that the 20 pounds made me jiggle a little. I got like a little bit of jiggle. But I think a little jiggle was kind of, you know, I think women should have a little, you know, <laughs> to me, <laughs> you know. All right, well, thank you guys for end up being a long reading. You know, it's 23 minutes. I was hoping it, it was short. But it's such a juicy reading, so positive and, and, and vibrant for the twins. You have permission as twins. Corey, back this way. You have permission from God himself, from heaven above, to be happy, to be free and be young and, and, and let your money be right. Let the money flow. Find that money. Get your money. Let the money come in. You know, be young. Act like you're a teenager, even though we like 50, 60 and stuff. Let's act like we young, you know, again. Look at that car. Ooh. It's time. I wish I could find the other book that I, so I could read, you know. But anyway, yes, it's, it's, it's time to celebrate us older people. Now, I don't know about the young people. The young people, I think, need to listen to their parents. But us older people who are mature, who done been through Free ourselves from all that bondage, the mental bondage, the religious bondage. Let's free ourselves from all the bondage of the world because it's time to have sex and have fun and be young. It's time. Okay, don't get my cards wet. So I'm going to end this video. You all be blessed. I love you guys. Be young. Be free. Be young. Let the money come in and celebrate. Bye. Dr. Leisha the Preacher. <laughs>